Alright. This is my little take on alcoholism. Of course, I've had a few beers. So take this shit to heart. Especially you young people. If you see this video. When I was 13, I went to my cousin's wedding reception. The first time I ever drank. My mama left for an hour and a half, told me it'd be good. I said, okay, she come back. I was 13 years old. Drunker and shit. Fell down fly stairs. Woke up the next morning. First thing I did is threw up in the toilet. And that's the first time I'd ever said, I will never do this again. I was 13. I'm 40 now. And that's been my life. Alcohol. By the time I was 16, I was pretty much drunk. Every night. 16. I got twin boys who are 16. They've never touched it. They don't smoke. You know. They cuss a little bit or whatever. But I was 16. A drunk. Every day. And I've done that for years. Cost me a lot of friends. A lot of good friends. You know. Am I getting drunk? Saying the wrong shit? Rent relationships. The way it is. My kids come along, I slowed down for a minute, but then I get, got back in my routine, you know. Go out to the bars, fucking gamble, drink, spend my paychecks. And over the years, I've made a lot of money. I have. And you know what I got to show for it? Nothing. Because when I was a juvenile... Up in my early 20s, I was in and out of jail all the time. Contributing to minor, minor in possessions, you know, DUIs, had a couple of them. It ain't no fun. Now, here's the deal. Through all them years of gambling and drinking, in 2002, between 2002 and 2004, I had a pretty good job. I was driving forklift. Working 70, 80 hours a week. Made a shit ton of money. You know, my paychecks were about 600 a week. I had a couple hustles on the side. You know, so I was bringing home probably eight to 1000 a week. You know what I got show for it? Nothing. Because you know what this motherfucker would do? I'd go to a club and spend three or 400 bucks a night. Party my ass off. Had a good time. It's not worth it. You know, I've been doing that for years. Well, 2012, or 2010, I got locked up. Got into it with the old lady. She called the cops, you know. Didn't touch her. Never did, but got a domestic assault. I was in jail 30 days. When I got out, guess what? She, her and my kids were gone. Moved out of state. It didn't get no better. I went two years without seeing my babies. Two years. what I do? I drank. A lot. 18, 20 pack a night. A few shots of hot damn. You know, 10, 15 Jager bombs. Yeah, I did. Ton of money. Waste two years just... Broke all the time. Staying with my mom. You know, being a bum. That's what i done. I was so bad into alcohol, I tried killing myself twice. Back when I was 21, took a bunch of pills, got put in the hospital, pumped my stomach. That ain't no good. You know, swore I'd never do it again. Well, 2011, guess what? I was down and out, hadn't seen my kids for a few months. I took a bunch more pills. A shit ton. Trying to end it. And you know what? I woke up next day feeling like shit. And I mean, I took a shitload of pills. Most people would have died. So I got up and I went to work. You know, hurting. I've always worked. My mom says I was the most functional alcoholic she's ever met. I said, what do you mean? She said, I ain't never seen anybody who gets as drunk as you and goes to work every day. 
Well, I, you know, I've got to pay for my habit. It's just the way it is. Now, I've done this. You know, since I was 16, I'm 40. 20, what, 24 years? I've been a drunk. Well, in 2012, I got back with my family. You know. I didn't drink a drop for six months. Everybody's proud of me. I was proud of me. My kids are proud of me. Well, so I thought I was cured. You know, I figured I'd have me a couple beers one night. And you know what? Turn me back into a drunk. Here I am right now preaching to y'all. Drinking. I mean, this is a real deal, folks. Alcoholism ain't no good for nobody. I've lost a ton of money. Ton of friends, but I still do it. I'm probably never gonna quit. You know, I'm not religious, so I never tried getting help from the church, from preachers or whatever, because that ain't me. I did go to a couple of AA meetings, and you know what they done when I was there? Told their stories about what they done when they was drunk, and you know, talked about drinking. Two AA meetings I went to. When I got out of there, I was shaking so bad I had to have a drink. So that's what I did. But here's a kicker. I'm 40 years old. I live in a one-room apartment, and I work at a gas station. Now, for all you young folks who's trying to do right, who wants to do that? It ain't no life. I'm struggling, and I'll keep struggling. Yeah, I like my beer. You know, just part of it. But it ain't no good. If you've got a problem at a young age, get help. Nobody wants to be around drunk. Like I said, I've lost a ton of money, ton of friends. Done stupid shit. I'm not even going to go through the details because the list's too long. But nobody needs that. But I'm telling you right now, take it from a guy who's been there. 25, 24 years I've been a drunk. Besides six months. I was locked in the mechanic for 30 days. I couldn't drink then. So you're looking at seven months not drinking. Out of 25 years, the rest of the time, just part. it's a big party. You know, everybody thinks it's fun. Oh, I've had a blast, you know. I won a lot of money pool hustling. I was a pretty good pool player. Now I got to where I was such a big drunk. Guess what? I still gambled. Lost my ass. Always played the Cherry Masters, you know. Love going to casinos, get drunk, you know, do good when I first get there, get drunk, lose my paychecks. That's not a life. I'm telling you guys now, every young person out there, every old person, I mean, take it from me. Alcoholism, it's not good. You know, I've been there, done that. And I'm going to keep on doing it, probably. You know, my twin boys are going to be 17, and guess what? They don't like me no more. Not because I ain't a good person, because I care about everybody. I don't judge anybody. I do what I do, but they don't like being around drunk, so they don't talk to me much. My four-year-old, oh, she's crazy about me. She loves me. You know, days I get her, which ain't very rare these days since I moved out. You know, we'll watch zombie movies. You know, I'll play with her dolls, play with her little people. We run around the house shooting fake zombies. That's what she wants to do. But guess what? She's going to grow up. She's four. She's going to grow up. And guess what? She'll realize she don't like me neither. I mean, this is the real shit I've ever put on here. Sorry the video's a little long, but if you got a drinking problem, try to get a grip. Don't, don't be me. You don't want to be 40 and... Stuck in an apartment and working at a gas station. Life's better than that. But this is my thought, you know. Thought I'd share with you guys. I'll share everything else. But it's the truth. I'm just old drunk. You know. Chat and Charlie. Drinking again. That's what I do. But uh, anyhow, you know, don't judge me because I don't judge nobody. You know, I know there's a lot of drug users out there and there's a lot of bums and a lot of this and a lot of that and I ain't judging nobody nobody's perfect nobody ever be perfect just remember what I said please 
if you got a drinking problem, I mean, I'm not the cure, but if you need help, there's people out there to help you. You know, I'm just doing what I do. So, anyhow, hope you all have a good one. Later.